Hello my dear students, very good morning. I hope you are all doing well and good and you are staying healthy and safe at your home. Good morning my dear children. Today I am here to help you in your class 6 biology subject. As you all know up to your 5th grade you have studied only science that is you didn't have any uh, sub groups in your science you, you have studied environmental science you have studied general science like this but you didn't study any science subject as the parts right no now you have stepped into the class 6 of icsc you will be having three parts in your science subject that is physics chemistry biology so you are expected to put more effort in your science subjects that is physics chemistry biology i am here i am present here to help you in your biology subject okay my dear children before going into the lesson of your biology subject tell me what is biology what do you know about biology because it is very very new subject to you moreover you might have learnt about some things in your science related to biology but you will not be knowing exactly that relates to biology right okay now tell me what is biology biology means bio means life logy means study Bio means life, study, uh, logy means study, that means biology is study of life, biology is study of life or study of living organisms, you know well about living organisms, no, from your first standard you are studying what are living organisms, what are non-living organisms, the things which have life are called living organisms, the things which are non-living does not have life are called non-living organisms. For example, this board is non-living organism, this chalk piece is non-living thing. Sorry, you have studied like living things and non-living things, right? No, this board is non-living thing, this chalk piece is non-living thing. And I am here explaining you about something else. Then can, can you take me as living thing? Right? No. The thing which have life is called as living thing. So, biology is a study of that living organisms, living thing, something which have life in it. We are studying about that. That is called as study of life. That is biology. Bio means life. Logy means study. My dear children, in your previous classes, you have studied about digestive system, you have studied about respiratory system, you have studied about animals, you have studied about plants, so many things you have studied and you are having a very basic, very good basic knowledge about the science, right now? So, now we will take only one part of that basic knowledge, for example, now we will take the example of plants, okay? Children, my dear children, we will take now the example of plants. Plants, here. Plants means from second standard or third standard, you are writing the diagram of plant right now. Plant has leaves, flowers, roots, roots, stem. You will be writing that uh, answer, you will be writing the diagram, you will be labeling the parts right now. Uh, leaves, flowers, fruits, roots, stem, branches, so many things you will be writing, I think, you know. And every test, every exam, your teachers will be giving that question for in your exam. So, you have good practice for that writing that plants, you know. So, in that plants, we are taking one part, that is leaf. That is leaf. Okay, my dear children, leaf is the first chapter of class 6 ICS biology. Okay, leaf is the first chapter of class 6 ICSC biology. You are going to study about 8 chapters in class 6 ICSC biology, but this year the syllabus may reduce according to the ICSC rules and regulations. We will be telling you about that in our further. 
session. Okay, my dear children, before going to that, here leaf is the first chapter in your ICSA biology. Like this, you are having eight chapters: leaf, flower, cell, digestive system, circulatory system, health and hygiene, diseases. Like this, you are having eight chapters. Now we will have a look at leaf. You know well about leaves. You have seen leaves daily when you were when you wake up and go out of your home. You see a very good, very green nature around you, around yourself, you know, and you have a very good air for respiring, you know. You can see so many different sh shapes and sizes in leaves, correct? And also you can see some colors also. Some leaves will be very light green in color. Some leaves will be very dark green in color. Some leaves will be yellowish in color, right? No, you have seen so many things in the leaves, no. So depending upon that, or that will be the features of the leaves. So we will say generally what will be the parts of the leaves. Here I am writing the diagram of the leaf. You can write any shape, my dear children, because you know well that leaves have, will have different shapes and sizes. And whichever shape you feel easy, you can write the shape. Okay. Okay. This is the diagram of general leaf. Is this looking like leaf? Yes, it's looking like leaf. You can see the tip of the leaf here. You no, know? the tip of the leaf is called as leaf. The tip of the leaf is called as leaf apex. Next one, you can see the outer layer of the leaf. No, you might have seen the leaf. No, you can see the outer layer of the leaf that is called as leaf margin. That is called as leaf margin. Okay, my dear children, here you can see one long straight line. Structure. If you see any leaves, you will have a thick line in the middle of the uh, leaf. Right now, that thick line is called as mid rib. The thick line is called as mid rib. Okay. And the next part, you can see some here hairline structures. If you keep the leaf to the sunlight, you can see some hairline structures on that. That is called as veins. That is called as veins. Okay. Still, in some leaves you have very thick layers. Again, this will be branched like this. Okay. These veins will have another branches like this. These are called as veinlets. These are called as veinlets. Okay, and you can see this portion, the surface of the surface area of the leaf is there. Now, this surface of the flattened portion of the leaf, we call it as lamina. The flattened portion of the leaf, we call it as lamina. Okay, my dear children, now coming to here, you can see some stalk like structure. Every leaf will have a stalk for it. Even the flowers, no flower, you know, will keep, will hold the flower with a stalk like structure which is it is which it is having below of the flower structure. In the same way, when the leaf will have the structure, stalk like structure, no, that stalk like structure is called as petiole. That is called as petiole. Understood, my dear children? And now, this leaf will be attached to the stem region, stem part of the, this leaf will be attached to the stem part of the plant. Right now, this particular part, this particular part, we call it as a node. This particular part, we call it as a node. Okay? Dear children, these are the main important parts of the leaf. And you know the leaf will be green in color. Tell me in my next session why the leaf will be green in color. Which pigment is responsible for the green color of the leaf. That also you have studied in your lower grades. Okay, we will have a quick recap of this parts of leaf. 
you can see the tip of the leaf that is called as leaf apex okay and this surface area the flattened portion of the leaf we call it as lamina okay and the margin the margins of the leaf the margins of the leaf we call it as a leaf margin here you can see some thick layer in the middle of the leaf that is called as mid ring okay and you can see some hair like structures or thin project branches like structures thin structures on the leaf that is called